Hi there. Welcome to Sunnyside Journals. I'm Catherine. I have a little quick, I don't want to call it a tutorial. I mean, it's just something that I sort of figured out a couple of weeks ago. And I thought I'd share um, what I experimented with and what I finally decided um, was uh, worked well for me. I don't know if any of you watched. Um, Nick the Booksmith did a video a few weeks ago on uh, replicating yellow cellophane tape. The Hold on. <laughs> this stuff. And if, if any of you are crazy like me, and I know you're out there, uh, you save your, your yellowed cellophane tape. And I reuse them. I will put them into other books uh, just to get that that yellowy that yummy yellowy look <laughs> so but sometimes you don't you don't have that or you you don't want to you're not ready to use your your real deal and you just want um you want to be able to put some some sort of looking like yellowed cellophane tape so I was playing around this week with uh, some experiments and I thought I'd share with you, um, let me move this out of the way, what I sort of, the conclusions I came to. You can play around with it yourself. NYX was very, very good. I wanted to be able to make, replicate cellophane tape, yellowed cellophane tape with what I had here because I don't have alcohol inks. And she used alcohol inks um, to to create hers. And I don't have that. So I wanted to try and I wanted to see what I could get, what I could pull together and uh, with what I had. Um, so I played around. I played around with different papers. I played around with different the different inks that I have. And and I finally came to a conclusion of what I like. So uh, what I'm talking about, in case you're wondering, uh, hopefully this shows up. Oh, come on. Quit tilting. It, this is uh, actually from one of the pages in uh, the junk journal I recently made, the Gilbert and Sullivan um, book. And see how I created yellowed looking tape there uh, to put her in so that it looked like somebody thought she was beautiful and wanted to save her. Um, for for whatever reason to, to save it for a special reason in in their little commonplace book or their diary um, and I wanted to be able to do that so I played around with um, I tried tracing paper I tried tissue paper I tried parchment paper I tried onion skin paper and I actually even came down to trying cheap wax paper this is from Dollar Tree and expensive wax paper this is from my grocery store and I came down to the conclusion I was expecting the cheap wax paper to be the one I'd like and it turns out it's the expense it's not that expensive but it's just the one that costs more than this one um, the the full price uh, wax paper turned out to be what I liked so let me show you what I what I figured out this was one of my um one of my many test sheets I had all kinds of test sheets going but this is the one I saved because it really told me um what shades of ink I liked and uh, what papers I liked and what glue I liked it, I glue even played into it because I tried Elmer's stick glue, I tried Fabri-Tac 3-in-1, and I tried, oh, PVA, and I tried Mod Podge. And uh, for the glues, the best one came, still came down to good art glitter glue one again. So, so as you can see here, this is the cheap wax paper and this is also the um, glue stick 
none of neither wax papers liked the glue stick and i think it's because they're shiny and slippy because of the wax so none of the none of them liked the glue stick um they didn't mind the other ones but i just found that the finished result didn't look as nice so here you can see um that was this one was the cheap wax paper Whereas this one here, which I rather liked right there, that lightly inked one, that was the expensive wax paper. And I used, um, I used uh, vintage photo distress ink on that one. So, you know what, now I'm just going to, you can see that I did a lot of, I did a lot of playing around and deciding which one I like and which one I don't like. And I came down to, look at the exclamation points, the one I liked, this one also got exclamation points. Art glitter glue, one, and expensive wax paper, one. Look at that, doesn't that look good? And it's got a little bit of shimmer, like the real deal. I even, this shows you how desperate I was, I even went out and bought shiny, shiny uh, tape and tried dyeing the real shiny tape. And even that, maybe alcohol ink would cling to this, but I don't have alcohol ink. And I didn't want to go um, to the craft store that's like three towns over and take a chance that maybe they had alcohol ink. And I didn't want to have to wait for Amazon. So, so I'm going to show you what I did and then you can decide if you like it or not. But it, for me, it turned out real easy and uh, and fun. And now I just keep lots and lots of rolls of it here. So in case I need it, I cut off a strip. So the nice thing is um, this little rough edge here is already like the rough edge on, um, on a tape dispenser. So what I found was if I tore off maybe about a two inch portion, come on, a two inch portion of waxed paper, then that would already give me that ridged edge there. And then I could cut my strips in like half inch pieces in this direction. So it doesn't like, once you get to the end here, it tries to rip straight across like that. <laughs> but don't worry about that. It, it, it really doesn't matter because you're still going to be cutting pieces like this when you're done. So just keep going. See? There we go. So, now I find that I want to... Where's my pen? In a part that I'm not going to use, I just write on it inked side. Because it's waxed on both sides, but I only want to ink one side. So I'm just writing inked side on it so that I'll know which side has the ink. Inked side. Let's see if that's going to, there, I'm just blotting that off. I'm sure pencil would work too. You could just scrawl it in with pencil. Ink side. All right, so now what I did was I tried all the, I tried this ink. I tried pen and ink ink. I tried standard stamping pad ink. And I wasn't happy with any of those. So then I pulled out all my distress inks. And they were actually okay. Uh, but then I started playing around with which color I liked. I was surprised to find out I did not like gathered twigs. I found that with genuine aged um, cellophane tape it has an 
orangey, yellowy, yellowy tinge to it. So then I expected maybe antique linen would be best, but antique linen is actually too pale and had no orangey tinge to it. So I ruled out the antique linen. And then I thought, well, I bet tea dye is going to be the color to go with. And I actually found for me, I liked vintage photo better and vintage photo does have an orangey undertone to it. So for me, I like vintage photo and then what I do is I just on the side that I know is going to be the ink side um, I just use my uh, sorry I use my vintage photo and I just dye the wax paper and I really make sure that I get the ink into those um, little, what's the word? The serrated edges along there. That really, really shows up nicely when you start cutting these to use them. Now be careful because that ink remains quite active <laughs> you're gonna have um orangey fingertips for quite a while it eventually does calm down i'm not going to worry about doing that one for now so so those are ready let me flip this over so it's not distracting and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you how i use these so these are the the ink side up the other the underside is just shiny wax paper and I'm going to put the glue on this sorry I'm going to when I put glue on it put it on the side where the ink is because the wet glue will actually sort of make that ink more clear you'll see you'll see what I mean when I do it okay so I thought let's pretend that somebody is some lady is planning her nursery and she's making her putting together a book of all the things that maybe she wants to go into her baby's nursery and she likes that chair so then what i do is get my scissors and i've got my you know two and a half inch piece i'm going to cut oh that's the side i want i'm going to start at this end I just, that's so that I remember which side has the ink on it because they'll both look very similar. So that's for me. If you don't need to do that, then my hat's off to you. But I need to do that. So then I'm going to cut a strip that looks about as wide as I would think her strip of tape, of cellophane tape is. Now, what you need to do is get your art glitter glue. You can, of course, I almost dropped that. You can experiment with other glues. Maybe you've got a different kind of glue that you think will work well. Well, have fun and play with it. But I've just found that art glitter glue, and of course now it's not coming out. <laughs> a little stinker. <laughs> and I even had it ready. I thought, oh, I'm taping. I'll get everything ready. <laughs> Anyhow, do your art glitter glue. And then what I did was got a q-tip and I just spread it around and see how it sort of makes it turns it into orangey orangey gluey paint but it works wait till you see as my father-in-law used to say wait till you see so then I get that ready and then let's pretend I'm going to glue this down with my cellophane tape to that page and there we go. We've got some cellophane tape sticking down. Now, another neat thing you can do. Say she only wanted a tiny little piece of tape there. She was saving her cellophane tape because it's very expensive and she only has one roll. What you can do is cut yourself another strip of your cellophane tape, your faux cellophane tape, and then get your little piece here and say you want it to look smaller 
I just use my roll of tape like this and I rip off another little piece and that will give you those little ridges again. Hold on, there we go. See them there? Now, for me, I'm a little bit fussy. I give them a little bit of ink. There we go. And now I'm going to, once again, apply the art glitter glue to the side that actually has the live ink on it. I'm going to give it a little bit of a little bit of art glitter glue because it will dry clear and it doesn't mind holding the wax. That was the problem I had with like the LePage's, the Elmer's glue stick. It didn't want to hold the wax. The wax stayed, wanted to stay slippy and the art glitter glue said, aha, uh -huh, I'll hold it. There we go. And that's how you get a smaller piece of tape so that it looks like she taped down that corner. And if I hold it like that, you can see it's shiny because it's the waxed paper. Isn't that cool? And that's how you can do, if you've got wax paper at home, if you've got vintage photo um, distress ink, which most of us junk journalers do, wax paper, art glitter glue, you can make fake yellow tape. <laughs> It's easy. So there you go. I hope this was fun for you. Give it a try. Experiment. Let me know if you find something that works a little better. But I've actually been using this for a while and I kept thinking to myself, I need to do a video on this. I need to share the joy. And um, and then I just uh, finally decided when I was putting together the Gilbert and Sullivan, it's time to share the joy. So there we go. Take care, everyone. And I hope you have a great day. And uh, maybe experiment with playing with some uh, fake yellowed scotch tape. Bye.